Hello debutantes, I am getting ready to head out to the grocery store so I thought I would take a quick minute just to kind of show you my prep and how I plan and then tackle the grocery stores. Um, I have not been very good at this lately so I really want to get back into meal planning and shopping and having the proper food here because I am gaining weight like nobody's business. I just keep saying because I'm an old lady but it's probably all the cookies I've been eating. So let me go ahead and show you my process and how I get ready to go to the grocery store. All right, well the first thing I did was I made a meal plan and this is actually my finished copy. What I decided was, was how many slow cooker meals I wanted, how many meat meals, chicken meals, and then like non meat or chicken meals. Um, so I just wrote them down. Normally I do not color code my list, but I thought um, it might pop better on the video. So I have my chicken meals, beef meals, my slow cooker meals, and then like a spaghetti and a sausage, um, my kielbasa meal. So this is what I'm going off of for my dinner plan. And how I came up with these is I have my little recipe box. I will link my original meal planning video um, probably on that little eye in the sky up there and I will put the link in the description box. But um, I have lots of recipes in here and they're all labeled chicken, you know, pasta. Um, I have like ground beef and steak. So I kind of went through here and decided what I wanted to cook. Some things are our favorites. And then I just took the cards out and see, this is how I um, store like recipes I found in magazines. I put them on, I scotch tape them to an index card because it's a lot easier than writing them out or printing them. And then I always put an arrow if it continues on the back. So then what I did was I took, so now I have all my meals. I have my little recipe card so I'm ready to cook when I need to. And then I just went through the ingredient list and then just added it. To my grocery list. Um, at first I kind of knew the different things I needed. I needed chicken breast, I needed ground beef, and um, so then I just wrote the amounts from the recipe on the side. And then I just have my groceries. I did try to break it up into meats, produce, breads, frozen. I just find that easier if they're categorized on my grocery list. I did leave a little note that I have to go to CVS. So that's kind of how I made my grocery list. I do have my Publix ad and I did kind of circle some things um, that I need just so I know that they were on sale. Um, I do also on my list, like down here, um, there's some Barber Foods chicken that I like. It happens to be on sale and I have a coupon. So I just made that a note on that on my list so that I do not forget to use my coupon. And here is my coupon. And another thing, um, through Influencer, I'm getting a free bottle of <laughs> Filippo Barrow olive oil to do a video on olive oil. Mm. Bella, what's the matter? Bella's cranky. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and I will be doing um, a video on how to use olive oil. There's a lot of really interesting ways to use olive oil that I had never thought of, so I wanna make sure I pick this up. So let me let Bella out and then we'll continue. Okay, so the next thing I do, hopefully you can see this, is my Publix. You can go online and pick um, digital coupons. The Publix app has been acting up like crazy. So I'm going to go through here and see if there's any coupons I need. You link these with your home phone number, and nine times out of ten, I forget that I've clipped a coupon. So I just go ahead and put my phone number in every single time. So if there's a coupon that I've clipped, it will work. And the other fabulous thing about the Publix website is you can order your deli meat online. So I am going to order my lunch meat right here online. Once you order it, you tell them when you're gonna be there, what time you're gonna pick it up, and it is waiting for you when you get there. This is amazing because the deli usually takes as long as your whole grocery shopping trip. So that's how I'm gonna to go to the grocery store. I am going to go to Aldi. Um, maybe Target and Publix, so I'm gonna take you all along with me and show you how I grocery shop. All right, our first stop is Publix. Tony just dropped me off. He had to run to the insurance company because of his brand new truck that he's so excited about and second guessing every second. So I am ready, I have my list, I have my coupons and my sweet tea. Let's do this. Have you guys heard about these or do you use them in your salad? They're the fresh gourmet, like nuts and berries. I love these pecan pieces in my salad. They just add such a nice crunch. I'm gonna buy these new almond ones that are honey glazed, but they have 
dried sweet cranberries, cranberry and glazed walnuts. They just kind of bring your salad up a notch, almost like a restaurant salad. And we just really have been enjoying these. All right, I'm on the aisle to get my free 16.9 ounce bottle of Philip Barrio olive oil. And look at all of these choices that I have. I'm just sticking with the regular old olive oil. This is why I like to go down every aisle, even if it's not on my list. I'm on the cleaner aisle, which I don't really have anything on my list for that. But these are some of my favorite candles, essential elements, lavender and cedar wood, and lemongrass and coriander. They're normally $9.29, but they are on sale for $4.29. I do not did not see these in the ad because I'm always looking at the candles because these have a really nice throw. They burn long and nice and clean. So I'm gonna get two of these and I'm gonna save $10. This laundry detergent is the best invention. If you have men who don't know how much soap to put in the wash, it automatically dispenses exactly how much so we don't have lots of bubbles. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's on sale too, honey. Good, I don't care what it cost. So Tony just came back from the insurance company and immediately takes the cart. He has to be in control of any type of vehicle at all times. Right? I do the driving. You do the driving. So I'm just coming right here to pick up my deli that I ordered online and it's just sitting here waiting for me. Okay, so we're leaving Publix. We spent $234. We did not get everything we needed, but that also was those candles, the sun pass, hair color. It was on sale, had a coupon. So there was a couple, you know, non-grocery type items, but that is two weeks worth of dinners. So, so far we spent 200 and something odd. It is shocking to me how much prices have gone up on food. It's so much easier just to go out to eat, right? Right. No, he's lying. I hate going out to eat. <laughs> so anyway, we're taking the cold stuff home and then we're going to, ooh, hello, Aldi, CVS, probably have to go to CVS first. Um, anyway, we're babbling now, so we'll catch up with you in a bit. This part always sucks. Now we gotta take it all in the house and put it away. Ugh, I'm glad Tony's home. So we just ran in, I put everything out so I kind of show you what I got, and then we're gonna run back out again. I got Wise Kettle Cook Chips. These were two for five, I think. Um, I got some oven baked ruffles. My son really likes these cheddar and sour cream, but they only had the one bag, so I bought one bag. Pepperidge Farms Bakery Classic Buns and Pepperidge Farms Farmhouse Honey Wheat. This is the best honey wheat bread. It's just a shame it's so expensive. This is $4 for this loaf of bread. Hair color was on sale. I got honey some soap. The laundry additive was on sale and then I had a digital coupon. I did end up buying three of those candles. Um, it was such a good deal and lavender helps you to sleep. So I bought one for my son. He's having some trouble sleeping. Stonyfield Vanilla Yogurt, we like to add fresh fruit and some granola for breakfast, so we bought that. Tony got some fruit on the bottom yogurt. I really like these Marzetti Simply Dress Salad Dressing, so I got a Caesar and a ranch. I bought some milk for a recipe, sour cream, cream cheese, those are all for recipes. I did buy myself some asparagus because I love fresh asparagus. I just threw the grocery bags on the floor because I'm going to have to grab them and use them in a minute. I bought a whole chicken. I brought some bacon to make some um, breakfast sandwiches to freeze. I bought a chuck roast. It was on sale. Um, I bought a top round steak for steak salad. I bought a bunch of shredded cheese. Some of this is for recipes and others are for salad. I bought roast beef, deli sweet ham, and some beef bologna from the deli. I bought these whole wheat little fajita tortilla-like things to make the breakfast sandwiches. At Dunkin' Donuts, I get, it's like a breakfast wrap. It's one egg, half a piece of cheese, and like a slice of bacon. So I want to make a bunch of those up for my son who gets up really early and skips breakfast. So I thought if he had that, he could just pop in the microwave. I got some peas. These are for a recipe as well. We needed garbage bags. I love these Barber Foods stuffed chicken breasts for myself when Tony's working. Like the next two days, he's working two 16-hour shifts. So I can just pop this in the oven for myself, and it's more than enough food for me. I bought pearl onions for my pot roast. This is the salad that we'll be having with our steak. These are Publix premium salads. This is a true blue salad kit. It's got arugula, baby greens, blue cheese crumbles, dates, raisins, praline, pecans, and blue cheese vinaigrette. So this is like a restaurant style salad to put our steak on. Um, I just read a thing on Facebook that someone 
they're doing some studies on asparagus for health and they took like a can of asparagus and they pureed it to like a baby food consistency and the woman took like two teaspoons or two tablespoons in the morning and two tablespoons at night and because of the natural detoxifying her cancer cleared up like I said I read it on Facebook but I figured asparagus is good so I'll give that a try I bought some green beans, I bought all of these condensed soups for recipes, diced tomatoes are for recipes, beef broth, chicken broth, all for recipes, egg noodles, this is my favorite Romano Parmesan, the sharded cheese, of course the babies had to have their cookies. I needed four ounces of cherry coke for a recipe, but this was the cheapest way to buy it in a two liter bottle, so now I have all the soda I don't need. Red potatoes, golden potatoes, my free olive oil. Um, barbecue sauce for a crock pot chicken recipe. It's like shredded barbecue chicken. We're gonna have barbecue chicken sandwiches. Um, bacon bits, all this is for salad. I just had total brain fade. Croutons, the salad fixings I showed you. I needed red onion, sweet onion, and then just some tomatoes and blueberries for yogurt. So I think that is everything. Like I said, our total was 236, but we did buy a $20 sun pass and things like that. So now I have to put all the cold stuff away and then we're off to Aldi. We just are leaving Costco. We are running to Aldi now. We did have a hot dog, we shared it. I don't know how I did this with two kids going to, I used to go to what, four different stores? They were young. <laughs> yeah, I was young. Two kids in tow. We've been to three stores, Publix, CVS, and Aldi. And I'm exhausted. I'm like, I'm ready for a nap and I still have more to do and then I have to go put all this stuff way so props to all of you who have children that you run to the grocery store all over town because I don't know if I could do it now that I'm old mm-hmm mm -hmm. old he's older than me washed up I'm not washed up hmm. send hate mail to honey in the comments I was the one that said you looked like you were born in 79 so yeah well now you're taking all that away being a snot I'm just messing with you jeez mm -hmm. what do y'all think we are done at Aldi. I still have to go to Target, but I'm going to do that later. I have an eye appointment at 6.15, so I'm not going to film that, but I'm going to show you what I picked up at Aldi. I kind of showed you what we got at Costco, but I'll show you again. At Aldi, I bought stew meat, oranges, broccoli, carrots, Brussels sprouts. I like to have these burgers on hand because they're quick. You cook them from frozen, and they cook pretty quickly, and they taste pretty good. Tony likes these thin and crispy chocolate chip cookies, so I picked him up a little treat there. I got sugar. This is probably the cheapest I've seen sugar. I think it was like $1.99, maybe less, I'm not 100% sure. And then sweet butter lettuce. This is my favorite type of lettuce is the sweet butter lettuce, so I picked those up. Picked up a pizza because we've been shopping all day. I don't want to cook, so I picked us up a pizza. I got Colby Jack cheese, Havarti, and Munster cheese for all of the wonderful deli meat that I bought. And then at Costco, I bought hamburger meat, and I like to buy it like this because it's already kind of sectioned off, so I can go ahead and put it in my food saver and save it like in one pound packages. Then I bought the dinner rolls, which you see, I'm gonna freeze these, and then I will do the food saver um, but you have to freeze them. We made that mistake once. Chicken breast, this is $2.99 a pound for the chicken. And then we're trying to switch out all of our light bulbs to LED, so we bought a package of those. And then, of course, the paper towels. Now that is a pretty sight. There's not an inch of space in that bad boy. Hopefully we eat all of this food after I've done all of this hard work. So I thought I would go ahead and tell you what I'm going to cook with all of this food and then you guys can comment down below if there's any particular recipe you want to see me do a video on. The cheesy beef and rice, I actually have a video already. Um, this is a really good staple. Uh, this one I'm making for the first time, golden potato and smoked sausage hash. I'm going to use a kielbasa to make that. Um, chicken divan, I think I have a video on the chicken divan. I really love this recipe and it's great for leftover chicken. So I've planned to make extra chicken for this recipe, which would be the roasted chicken with winter vegetables. It has red potatoes, carrots, parsnips, onion, um, and then a chicken. So I'm gonna make that. Lemon broccoli chicken. This was actually off the back of a Campbell soup can and it is a family favorite, so I'll be making that. I'm trying to grab these and film at the same time. I'm making a chuck roast. This is a Pinterest recipe, but um, 
my husband really enjoys this. It has carrots, potatoes, the um, pearl onions, and a chuck roast. Then ranch chicken. This has like um, ran the powdered ranch dressing mix, um, cornflakes, chicken. It's super easy, but it's very tasty. Making shredded barbecued chicken. This is a crock pot meal. This is what I needed the um, cherry coke for. I mean, you can see how easy it is. It's like four or five ingredients. Throw it in the crock pot. Serve it on a bun. I'm making, this is a new one, crock pot beef stroganoff. So we'll be trying this out for the first time. And then I have this slow cooker Mongolian beef. Um, so those are the recipes I have. And then we'll be having the steak salad and all of that stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed grocery shopping with us. Again, comment down below if you want to see any of these recipes. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. <music>